Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here, and today I'm going to show you how to make fruit sorbet, and all you need is an egg. I know, it's a little weird. I'm gonna talk you through the process. I'm using just three ingredients, and this is a method or formula that you could use with lots of different fruits. So a fruit puree, I'm using raspberries today. I'm using a food processor, so six cups of raspberries for this recipe are going into my food processor and three quarters of a cup of water. So that's the second ingredient. And now just blend this up until it's nicely combined. The second step is straining it through a fine mesh sieve. Now the third ingredient is actually simple syrup. Simple syrup is equal parts sugar and water. You bring it up to a boil in a small saucepan, turn the heat off immediately, and it creates this viscous syrup that's really great for sorbets, but there are so many other uses for it. You can use it in wonderful summertime cocktails, lemonade, iced tea. So in about two minutes, all of the puree has been strained through my sieve. And now to this mixture, I need about a cup of simple syrup. However, you might need more or less based on whether the fruit is at its peak of sweetness. So thoroughly mix this together. And now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to decant this into a vessel that's a little bit smaller so I can show you the egg trick. What you need is an uncooked egg that is thoroughly cleaned. And what you're going to do is very gently drop it into your sorbet base. The egg is going to sink down and it should float back up to the top. And you want to see about a quarter size of the egg exposed on the top. It's not happening here. So what that means is that I need to add a little bit more simple syrup and the egg should float up to the top. Give it a little bit of a stir here. And that is about the size of a quarter. So now you know that your raspberry sorbet base is going to freeze to the right consistency. Now, what happens if you didn't use this little tip here? Well, if you didn't add enough simple syrup or enough sugar, your sorbet is gonna be hard like a granita or frozen Italian ice. If you added too much sugar, your mixture would be super soft like this version here. What you're really looking for is something that has a beautiful shiny texture to it. It's not too soft and sugary. It's not too hard and icy. It has a perfect texture just like this version here. And the batch that we've made will be perfect as well with this egg tip. So now I'm gonna remove the egg from my measuring cup cover this with plastic wrap and this goes into the refrigerator to chill and then we're going to freeze it in an ice cream maker. So pour your sorbet base into your ice cream maker and freeze this based on the manufacturer's instructions. And once this is churned, it needs to go into an airtight container and frozen in the freezer until it's nice and firm about two hours. So our raspberry sorbet is the perfect consistency. All you need is fruit, simple syrup, water, and of course, the secret ingredient, an egg. Now that you know the process and the secret, you'll be having success all summer long with all of your wonderful summer fruits. Enjoy.